Okay, today I am still going for a pumpkin spice latte in the face. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Um, it's nighttime here and for some reason completely unbeknownst to myself, I have decided that it would be a really good idea to test out a brand new palette that I've never touched, swatched, looked at, attempt to do some type of eye look with it and then maybe even put on fake lashes at nighttime. It's not like I'm getting ready to go out anywhere. It's Monday. Not that that would make much of a difference if even if it was the weekend. I probably still wouldn't be going anywhere. But sometimes when the urge strikes you, I guess you just, you gotta put on some eyeshadow. And that eyeshadow that we're going to be putting on today comes in this box right here. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette. I know literally almost nothing about this eyeshadow palette. I didn't even take the time to really look at it when I got the email. I just got the email and immediately clicked buy. There's something about Anastasia palettes that like draw me to them and I feel like I have to purchase all of them. I'm like the Ash Ketchum of Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes. I do really enjoy Anastasia shadows. I literally use like the soft glam palette every day of my life. So when I saw that there's a collaboration with Jackie Ina, another YouTuber, I was like, yeah, I definitely gonna have to check this one out as well. You know, at 11 o'clock at night, you would think it wouldn't be this hot but you'd be wrong. Alrighty, so here is the palette right here. It has kind of like an iridescent texture to it. It almost looks maybe like alligator, crocodile, something like that. This palette right here retails for $45, which I think is the same price as all their other palettes. And I did get mine on like expedited shipping and they're running some type of like promotion where it was half off. So I did pay an extra $6 uh, to get this shipped to me. They're calling this right here an eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette. They can't just call it an eyeshadow palette because pressed pigments technically aren't like FDA approved. So you really aren't supposed to put them on your eyes, but everybody does anyway. <laughs> um, I don't think they're actually supposed to be like harmful to your eyes or anything, but there is a chance that they might stain your eyes based on like the dyes they use. I know that was a problem in like the James Charles palette with the skip color and then like other palettes. Many other palettes that say that they have pressed pigments in them. This is supposed to be cruelty free and have an 18 month shelf life. Little description on the back here says created in collaboration with beauty eye icon Jackie Ina. This limited edition palette features Jackie's favorite silky neutrals, vibrant warms, and tantalizing cool tones. <laughs> Why do I say tantalizing like that? The finishes are a perfect mix of both matte and elevating shimmer textures. I think I've forgotten how to speak. Elevating shimmer textures. Alrighty, so I'm excited to see the packaging. Ooh. So the packaging of the actual eyeshadow palette looks very similar to the box itself. It has that like iridescent like crocodile texture to it. I feel like I've had something like this before that looked super, super similar, but for the life of me and my tiny, tiny memory, I cannot remember what it is. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the shades. Oh, okay. So it has a very standard like Anastasia layout with like the two rows. It does come with a dual ended brush, just like all the other palettes. I am seeing a lot of really cool shades in here. There are some that it seems like I might have seen them in previous palettes. Palettes, but there are also some that I'm super excited about. There are also some that I cannot pronounce and I'm very, very sorry about that. I will I will do my absolute best. All right, so starting on the top row here, we have Soleil, then we have Supreme, Pinker, Big Wig. These three here are like the pressed pigments and those are the ones that might stain your lids. Oh, I think this is Dolas. Dual, I'm not sure if that's actually what that says or I'm just doing like a really bad New Jersey impression. Um, Either way, Dolas. Then we have Credit Lich. Situation, Zamen, Wiggles, Shookington, Trust Issues, Edges, Sponsored, and Ginger. So some very unique names. I can tell that there's like some personalization that goes into those. So that's kind of cool. I love that I literally wiped off all the makeup that I had on to put on like a fresh coat of makeup for this video and I'm sweating it all off. Here is a little up close of all of the shades. They are really pretty. They seem to be like very dramatic and bold, which I like. There are a good amount of like kind of neutral shades, but there are a lot of like bold shades as well, which I like. I feel like this is also a palette that could really work for like a wide range of skin tones. It's not like a super, super pale palette or anything. So I feel like a lot of people could wear this. All right. So I know finger swatches like aren't exactly representative of the shades, but 
uh, we're going to do them anyway, just real quick ones, just so we can get an idea of what we're working with here. There are just some quick arm swatches, and this palette seems to be so, so pigmented, like really, really pigmented. The only one that I'm worried about a little bit is Shookington, because it came up quite a bit like on my fingers, I was swatching it. It came out just a little bit chunky, and there was some fallout, but the rest seemed to swatch really well, and the pigment looks amazing, so I'm quite excited about this. There are definitely a lot of shades that I'm excited to try out, so uh, let's go ahead and just to jump to jump on into it. Alright you guys, so I'm gonna scooch on in here a little bit and maybe zoom you guys in just a tiny touch. That was out. This is in. And uh, we're gonna get started on some type of eye look. I really feel like I just want to do something fall inspired because honestly, I'm so tired of the summer that I can't just so done with it. I've literally been swimming one time this summer. I haven't seen the ocean in eight years. Uh, my air conditioner's broken and I just killed a mosquito inside of my room. I'm I'm absolutely done with the summer. So I'm going for something that looks like a, a girl just exiting a Starbucks wearing leggings and boots with a big fluffy scarf accidentally just poured her pumpkin spice latte right on my face. That's what we're going for. And I think there are enough colors in here that are very fall-like to be able to do that so uh I i'm excited uh hi so a uh, huge shocker here but um i ended up really not liking how my eyeshadow turned out when i filmed this portion the last time i think it was just like me and my color choices and the placement it just it didn't really mesh together i said multiple times that my eyes look like burger king and i don't i don't know if that's a good thing probably not also the framing of the video was all messed up like i was basically all the way off screen for most of the entire time so overall the production value wasn't really fantastic and the eyeshadow just didn't turn out how I wanted to but I still I don't think it's the palette at all I think it was totally me so today is a brand new fresh morning <laughs> I probably shouldn't do eyeshadow at nighttime anymore and we're gonna give this another go because I really think that I'm gonna like this palette quite a bit I just feel like I let myself down with the last eyeshadow look so I want to give it another try a couple other changes today. I'm gonna start out with like a bare face in that way I don't have to worry about any fall or anything like that. Okay, today I am still going for a pumpkin spice latte in the face. The first thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of concealer on my eyelids and blend that out. Oh, uh, by the way, y'all say hi to Marge up here, my toupee. I got like a little fake hair scrunchy thing that I can just wrap around my tiny, almost non-existent bun to make it look like I have hair. And it makes putting my hair up like 10,000 times easier. So uh, there's a good chance that you and Marge are gonna get very acquainted during these videos. All right, so yesterday I began with ginger and I think I'm gonna still go ahead straight in with ginger as like a transition shade. I think I'm just gonna do it a little bit lighter. These shadows are like really, really pigmented. So if you're wanting to go for a lighter look, especially for like a transition or like something to just blend, you're gonna have to go in super duper light handed. All right, so going back into ginger, I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush and go like underneath this little section that I lightly blended out and build it up kind of a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys, I've literally just woken up. I've been up awake long enough to go make a massive cup of coffee and um, that's about it. Very sorry if I'm a little bit groggy. So the last eye look after Ginger, I went in with, uh, I can't not remember the name. I went in with Credit here on the outer corner to deepen it up and Credit worked really well. Of course it didn't work well on this eye over here because nothing does. But the only problem with that is I tried to use edges after that and for some reason edges and Credit were having a really hard time blending on my eye. Now I think I'm gonna take edges here just on the same brush because I and that I'm gonna lay like kind of in the same area like right in the crease oh in the last video I was also blabbering a lot about uh, the trip that I'm about to take I was telling you guys a little bit about like where I'm going and what I'm gonna see and that kind of stuff I'll probably reserve like that conversation yet again for maybe like a get ready with me or something but I did want to go ahead and ask if you guys would like to see some like London, Edinburgh, Dublin vlogs or something. Maybe I can go to some like local makeup stores or like do my makeup on a, I don't know, the Blarneys don't. No, you can't do that. <laughs> or maybe like do some taste tests or whatever you guys would like to see. I just didn't know if you might be interested in seeing some stuff like that. I know this is mainly like an unboxing channel and every now and then we uh, poorly attempt to do some makeup, but uh, let me know what you guys would like to see if that's something you're interested in. Oh, Marge, you're still in the spotlight. All right, so here's where I'm going to attempt to cut a crease. Uh, this could end in absolute disaster. Ooh, cold. And then on top of that, I'm gonna use my absolute favorite shade that I used yesterday, which is 
wiggle essay, wiggle essay. I feel like Jackie would be super disappointed in my pronunciation. Okay, now to get real freaky with it, I grabbed this like glitter liner and I kind of want to do like a glitter line up in here somewhere. But honestly, looking at it, I don't remember where the glitter line's supposed to go. Is it supposed to be like where your eye folds and then when you blink it's like, oh, look at that glitter. Or is it supposed to go like just over the crease so it's always kind of there? What the heck is that? Very confused as to where like that bubble gum looking little hunk came from. Ooh, okay, I'm just gonna try it like up here maybe. <laughs> I do not think that is correct. Uh, so basically I just created an entire <laughs> thick, chunky line of glitter on my eye. I love how it's like, what are you not supposed to put in your crease? Glitter or shimmer. And that's exactly what I put in there. It's different. It's intriguing. It's something I typically probably wouldn't put on my eyes, but you know what? It's 7 a.m. and we're just gonna keep it. Let me take another big chug of coffee and then we'll do the other one. Literally have no idea if like cutting the crease, which I don't even think I did, made any difference. But um, just to make sure we're doing the same thing to both eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this crease as well. I guess I need to make the same glitter mistake on this eye as I did this eye. So uh, here we go. Okay, so I kind of want to do lashes with this, but the only... Is it enough to storm? The only lashes I can find are these like insane looking ones down here. I can't tell if these would just look way too much like spider stuck straight to my eyes. We got glitter all in the crease. Let's go ahead and go for it. I'm feeling snazzy and adventurous on this lovely morn. Oh, I think these are just too big for my eye. Of course, I don't have scissors literally anywhere near me. Can you box cut eyelashes? The answer is no. Alrighty guys, so the rest of my face is done. I'm just going to finish up around the eyes with a little bit of like highlight and some under the eye shadowing. I'm gonna put some eyeshadow underneath here. So I'm gonna take Soleil up here and I'm gonna use that for the brow bone highlight and the inner corner highlight. And then underneath I think I'm gonna run just a little bit of credit under the lower lash line. Alright, and then for lips I'm using this Marc Jacobs Love Drunk Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer. I don't, I don't even know where this came from. Is this mine? I have no memory of her purchasing this but uh, I really like it. Alright you guys and here is the final look or the second final look I guess. Okay so I definitely like the eyes a lot more than the last time that I did this. I feel like it's more clean and put together. The only problem I'm having is that the glitter is causing some creasing. I kind of wish I had like a Stila glitter and glow liquid shadow. I feel like those stay put really well. I was super nervous about the glitter in the crease at first, but now I actually really like it. I'm glad that I went ahead and did my face second, my eyes first. I feel like that made a huge difference as well. And honestly, I'm really happy with how it turned out, even with the massive lashes that I had to trim like while they were on my eyelids. So far, I've been really enjoying the palette. I do not think the first time going wrong was the palette's fault. I think it was just me placing things kind of weird and they didn't mix together well. It was my first time using the palette, so there's there's definitely like a learning curve when you try out a new palette. And I'm really looking forward to giving like more of the shades a try in this palette. It's super pigmented. Everything blends out really well. I'm literally in love with this red shade. I think it's so beautiful. Do I think this is like a must have palette? Uh, maybe not. It just depends on what you guys already have in your collection. If you have like a lot of these shades, then probably not. But if you're looking for a palette with some like nice bold shades and also some nice neutrals, then maybe this could be for you. $45 is a lot of money for a palette. So you definitely need to look at your collection and see what you already have to see if this is like a need to buy kind of thing or like maybe just like a want to buy. To me, it's just kind of like a standard ABH palette as far as quality goes. It feels just like a standard ABH palette. The quality of the shades themselves, I think are entirely up to par of their other palettes that I've tried. And I personally really, really enjoy Anastasia palettes. So if you don't, this might be one that you might want to skip. But if you've been looking to give one a try and you enjoy the shades in here, I definitely think, you know, it'll be fun to play around with. Let me know what you guys think about this palette. Is it something that you're wanting to try? Have you tried it out yet? How did you like it? Any and all thoughts and opinions are welcome down below. And uh, yeah, I would put on my glasses, but I'm fairly certain they were not gonna fit over top of these lashes. Oh no, it appears they do not. I'm gonna have to like librarian it today if I film any other videos. Anyway, that is all uh, Marge and I have for you guys today. So just thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time.